Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 25th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. Okay, one more. Okay, we have... Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. This has this feeling of you were talking yesterday about how something is just not moving and then today you might get some information as to why things happened the way that they did you'll find out there's a resolution there may be an extra step involved uh, if this is a work situation you're going to find out that the way you or your company or whatever you've been doing things you can't do it that way anymore there's just unforeseen glitch or you know something along those lines and the fix is to either get a new system or to have to work around things so this might be one of those days where it has kind of a oh i got one more thing to do okay but it doesn't seem like that big a deal i'm going to be very honest with you it's it's an easy adjustment and you are getting answers today so today could be the day that things get resolved uh they get cleared up they get put to rest um i am feeling that this teaches you a huge lesson. So this might've been something that's been going on for a while. If it's in a relationship, you might have a hard truth come up where it's like, okay, you know what? I am super insecure in this relationship and I do need to stop being controlling or whatever, or go find another relationship that you feel better in, right? Whatever it is, even if it's something unpleasant like a breakup, at least there's some bit of resolution. There's some understanding about how to move forward and that the old way is no longer going to serve you. Okay. Yeah. I, and I'm feeling too here. It's like you're, you're kind of tying up loose ends. You're cleaning things up and you're learning to do better <laughs> going forward. So maybe this is keeping better records or it's, you know, making sure you get things in writing. It'll turn out okay. But I'm thinking of the example when I bought my car, uh, the dealership tried to con me. A long story, but they tried to con me. I had insisted on doing all of the dealing because I, I knew, I knew who I was dealing with. I wanted to do all the negotiation, all the dealing over email. And the guy was getting annoyed and he's trying to basically, I'm going to use the word bully. I don't use that lightly, but he was bullying me. I mean, there's no other way around it. And I said, no, I stood my ground. If you want to sell me this car, you're going to do this in writing. Well, later on, there was a care package that was supposed to come with the negotiation. So I didn't have to pay for maintenance on the car for so many years. And when they came up and handed me my documents, as I was going through them, the guy said, oh, yeah, by the way, you need to bring the car back in. There's something wrong with it. Yeah, let me recap that for you. I had just signed the papers for the car, and then he tells me something was wrong with it. So he knew something was wrong with it, waited until I signed. And not only that, but he had distracted me from looking at all the documents. Okay, so they took care of the car. My mechanic is amazing. He has always taken very good care of me and, you know, backed me up on things. But later on, they tried to say, no, 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 we never said that we would cover maintenance on this car. It's a care package. And because I had it in writing, I was able to pull it out hand it off and they had no choice but to honor what they had said it's that kind of thing all right where you're dealing with some sneaky people or you're dealing with um, bureaucracy you're dealing with people who don't want to take accountability so you're learning how to be more diligent and you're learning how to be more streamlined in your life so that nobody has any room to come on in and take advantage of you all right so just be on the lookout for that you don't have to be like super worried it's teaching you something Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.